Right, it's time for the next uh, video in our Scratch project. Um, this time we're going to be continuing what we did last time with uh, art. We're going to make another little art project with this one. Um, it's one of my favourites. I think it looks fab. Um, leads to a lot of tinkering from you guys as well. So let's get started. First thing, delete the cat as always. Uh, and then this time we're going to draw our own sprite. Instead of using one of the ones that Scratch already provide for you, we're going to have a go at drawing our own. So uh, I'm going to hover over that button. Instead of clicking, I'm going to hover. And then I'm going to click on the paintbrush. And in this space here, I'm going to very, very quickly draw uh, what I would describe to my children as a colour blob. Okay, as if, as if a drop of paint has landed on the table. Uh, I've just made my outline a little bit thinner. And on here... I'm going to draw a quick little blob. I'm not going to worry too much about what sort of shape I'm doing. There you go, that'll do. Uh, and then I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to choose a colour to fill it in with. Uh, I'm going to go for like a pale pastel blue. And fill it in like that. Okay. Now what I want it to do is I want it to sort of fill the screen as much as I can. Uh, so I'm just going to move it to the middle. Uh, let's see what it looks like if I change it to 180. I think we could probably squeeze it a little bit more and let's try uh, 200. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so put it in the middle. Okay, uh, and we're now ready to start coding this and we're going to um, start by uh, making it twist, making it change colour. Let's have a go and let's have a look play. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that I've added the pen blocks. So I've added these pen blocks down here. So remember to do that. All you do is add extensions, click on pen, and you've now got these extra blocks in here like that. Um, so let's go ahead and start adding some code. Now, like the last one, we had uh, a boring set of code and then we had a fun set of code. Let's get the boring one done first. Uh, and that again is a repeat block, uh, sorry, a reset block so I'm gonna add this I'm gonna make it so that it erases if we've done any drawing any mark making it's gonna erase everything uh, I want it to go back to this size we're gonna be changing the size on this one so if you remember we set the size to 200% so on looks where I've got set size to 100 I actually want to change that to 200 if you change your size to something different so it's if it's only 150 or it's 180 that size there has to match there so just make sure they're the same uh, and then the other one is we want to make it to go back to the middle again so on motion uh, we've got go to and then x and y now the dead center of our screen is actually zero zero if i change it to zero zero let me show you what happens so it's gone it, it still fits in the screen, but it's changed ever so slightly. That's because the center of my costume is off center for the actual blob, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it so it's in a slightly different place. So I want it to return to there. And that will be those numbers there. For me, that's those numbers there. For you, that might be different numbers, um, but that's where I've put it there. You can see on the X, it's minus nine, on the Y, is minus 21 so they match up there for you those numbers might be slightly different and that's it for my reset button so if i move it it'll go back to where i told it to that's everything done so now let's start by adding um the code to make this look absolutely beautiful and what we're going to do is we're going to make it twist twist and, and change size as it goes um but each time it does it it's going to leave a little stamp behind it a little stamp of color behind it uh, it'll make sense as we're going through it um, trust me at the end you'll, you'll really like it so we're going to go to space so I'm going to use space for this one to trigger uh, the start of my animation okay and what I want to do is I, I just want it to a bit like the reset blocks um, I want it to erase all so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate I want it to erase everything. I want it to reset to that size and I want it to go to the center. It's kind of handy just to have it in there as well so that every time we press space, it resets. So I'm gonna sneak that in there. And then what we want next is a repeat block. 
Now this might seem like a, a, a bit bit excessive, but actually I'm going to make it repeat 200 times. Um, you'll see you'll see why in a bit, but I'm going to start with 200. I might play with that, but 200 should be fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it to stamp as it goes round. So if I go to pen and stamp, so it's going to repeat 200 times. If I just press go now, if I press space now, it will just stamp 200 times on top of itself. So what we want it to do is we want it to twist and turn. So let's go to motion. Let's go to turn. I'm going to put a smaller number in there. I might put seven or eight. Let's put eight in and see what happens. Um, and then I want it to change size each time as well. So if I go to looks, change size. And because we're already big, what I want it to do is I want it to get smaller each time. So I'm going to change size by a minus number, a really small amount. I'm going to go for minus 0.5. So each time it twists, each time it moves, it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Let's have a little go, see what it looks like now. So I'm going to press reset, I'm going to hit the space, and off it goes. Can you see that it's getting ever so slightly smaller and smaller and smaller? It's leaving an amazing pattern behind it. I like, I really like that so far. If I press reset, it'll go back to there, go back to that center point. Uh, I'm actually gonna change it like that. I want it to get smaller faster. So I'm gonna change it to, so it's minus one. I might make it turn nine degrees instead, make it turn a little bit more, and then let's give it a go again. So you see what I'm doing is I'm tinkering with my numbers. I'm tinkering with what I want, what I want it to look like. You'll see now I've got it so small it's disappeared in the middle. I really like that effect. I'm going to leave it on that. Um, but one thing that I've not changed is the colour. It's a still a really boring blue colour. So let's restart. Let's add in here. Let's add a colour effect. So let's go down to change colour effect. 25 is a really high number for this because we're stamping so many times. We're stamping 200 times we'd be changing the color effect by 25 every time. So it's quite excessive. So I'm just gonna change it to one and see what happens. Um, let's press reset, let's press space, and off we go. Look at that, that looks absolutely amazing. I might speed that up a little bit actually, although it has sort of started to go back to that blue that we started with, so that's really nice. Um, let's make it to two instead. Now you see what I'm doing again is I am tinkering with those numbers. I'm playing around with it. I'm getting a different effect every time. Oh God, I think that looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna restart that. The other ones that I could play with is this is this repeat amount. I could maybe make it only um, repeat a hundred times. Um, and then let's see what happens then. It'll do a lot less. Um, different effect. Maybe actually I'll make it get smaller faster on that one. So maybe I'll make it minus two. Uh, and instead I, I want it to turn 15 degrees. Let's see what happens. That one looks a bit crazier. I kind of like that one. It looks like um, a, a shell. Um, let's press reset on that one. So the important thing here is that, I mean, that set of blocks there, that, that set of blocks that I've left on the screen for a while, um, that's it for the blocks. But you'll see the fun part comes when you are playing around with this repeat amount. You're playing around with how much it turns. And you're playing around with how much you change the size and the color by. Um, really open it up so that everybody in the class, everybody in your house, everybody in the room, while you're all using the same blocks, everybody should have a different one. You could also then have a player on costumes. If you went to costumes, you could add another costume and add a different type. Um, so for this one, we obviously did a color blob. Let's try using the same blocks of code, but with um, just a line drawing this time. So if I went to, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a squiggly. It almost looks like a, a set of teeth on a pumpkin. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's press space. You kind of get a colorful line that's just filled in. That looks absolutely, it looks like a spider web. Uh, let's try something different. Let's add a different one. Let's add a different, oh, let me go back. Let's add a different costume. Let's do one where we do lots and lots of different dots. So if I got my color, uh, I want a black outline still. Um, let me go and fill. And I'm going to do some different little circles. So I'm going to do one here, one here. And I'm going to do a few little ones around 
the screen. Uh, I could fill them in different colors, so they're all starting on different ones. Uh, let me fill that one in that color. That one in that color. I'm just going to do very, very quickly. You guys can obviously spend a lot more time concentrating um, on what colors you're doing and things like that. I just want to get started straight away. So that'll do for me. Um, let me reset. Let me press space. See what happens. And you get something completely mad like that. That looks really cool. Um, so. I finished with my blocks, I finished playing with my costumes, I finished playing around with these little bits of code, these little tinkering bits of code. So now that I've finished, I can go to see the project page and I can share my work. So I'm going to call this one um, a pattern stamper. Pattern stamper. And I'm just going to leave some quick instructions. Um, actually, really, what we want people to do is we really want people to press C inside and play with those values themselves. So press space to start the animation so that people know what to do straight away. Um, but then let's leave some instructions for people to go inside. Press, press C inside to play with the code. We won't be able to play with those different values, so try playing with the values. Oops. On, uh, we said pattern, uh, on repeat number. Repeat number. We said the change size one. We said the turn angle. And lastly, um, was the Color change and then people when they remix it might get some different ones to you uh, I think that looks great though uh, thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, oh, one last thing I forgot to press share so now it's live with the world now everyone can can have a go and see what you can make um, yeah so thanks for watching um, hope you followed along okay hope uh, everything was explained clearly enough um, yeah thank you cheers